Hello everyone, welcome to today's quick tip. This is part of our mods mini series and today we're gonna do the text card mod. Now you can find our mods on tipco.com forward slash mods. It'll take you to this page where you can scroll down. You can see all the different mods today. We're doing the text card mod. Now the text card mod is useful for looking at lots of text together and visualizing that text. In the past, table visualizations might have been used, but the text card mod you'll see is a little bit nicer and a little bit easier to use. So today we're gonna to look at Airbnb reviews in the Boston area and you'll see I have this table on the right. This is for all these different reviews and you can see there's lots of data here. There's lots of comments, lots of columns. What I'm gonna do, I already have my text card mod brought in. If you don't know how to bring a mod in, watch our plug and play mods video where I show how you can download a mod, just drag it into Spotify, you can save it to the library and you can make it usable to all the users in your library that have access to that mod. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this text card mod that I already have pinned and I'm gonna remove it over here. Now, what this is saying is this visualization is made to show unaggregated data, meaning it's meant to show each row of data and not combine it. Now, we can aggregate it. I'm going to start with unaggregated mode. We're going to look at visualizing this card by all the individual reviews. So I'm going to say use row number. And for my content, I'm going to put my review in, which is actually called comments. So I'm going to put comments here and you're gonna see all the individual review comments show up here. So these are all the reviews for these listings and I can add an annotation. So for the annotation, I'm gonna add the host name. Let's go here, I got the host name, we'll let this update and you're gonna see a little card show up on the top here. These are the names of the hosts and the reviews for those hosts. So when you see a little blue strip here, that's to allow you to color it by. So I'm gonna color this by a score here, and I'm gonna use the scores rating, and this is gonna take the average score rating, and it's gonna color this. I'm gonna also want to color this similar to the uh, coloring I have here. So I'm gonna to go to properties, color, and I'm going to use from visualizations, page, Airbnb listings, there we go. I have the same color scheme now going from these listings over here to all of my text cards. So these text cards are nice. I can hit this little copy and copy all the text in there if I'd like. I'll copy in plain text. I can scroll down. These are all markable. So if I want, I can say, hey, I want to actually limit this by marking and show all data if I have nothing marked. And I can go here. I can click a listing. And this is going to drill down into, okay, these are all of Sean's reviews. Now, if I want to add a little bit more to this annotation, you'll notice I have these pluses here. I can add uh, more content to the actual content of the card or more to the annotation. I want to add the reviewer name. So let's see, reviewer name. I'm going to add that in. And now we can see Kyle reviewed Sean, and this is what Kyle wrote. Chris reviewed Sean, this is what Chris wrote things like that. And if I want, I can sort these. Let's sort these by the ratings as well. So I'm going to put score, review score rating. This is now sorting that. You'll see a little hover here where you can change if you want to uh, sort it from the best to worst or the worst to best. Uh, this is uh, for all of the tech. If I, if I unselect that, now we can see it for all the text cards. It's going to load right here. I got 69,000 reviews showing. So this is showing from the worst to best and that's showing from the best to worst. Now if I want, I can also show this, that's gonna show these text cards in an aggregated view. So instead of carding these by row number, I'm gonna card these by the host name. So let me go to the host and the host name, and I can say use row number or keep current setting. I'm gonna keep the current setting. So now we have Marie Jose here, and all of Marie Jose's reviews. Now this is showing all of these by the uh, reviewer here, because I had the reviewer there. I'm gonna remove that, and now this is showing individual reviews, the comments here, but it's showing it for each of these uh, each of these different hosts. Now if I take that and I want to aggregate that, I want to combine that down, let's say I, I put this on description. Each listing has its own description, and a listing may have many different reviews on it. But if I only want to aggregate these and I only want to show it by the listing itself and not actually by all the individual unique different uh, reviews. I'm gonna put description in here, and this is actually gonna be an aggregated view. And so you can see Adam has a beautifully renovated and exclusive furnished apartment in the heart of Boston's downtown crossing. 
Adrienne, she has a cozy, clean bedroom in an open and airy shared two bedroom apartment. So now it's actually aggregating all of this data that you're seeing. It's aggregating it by the IDs. It's aggregating it by the individual listings and showing that all in one card. So you can show this as an unaggregated view or an aggregated view. It's your choice. It works with markings. It works with filterings. It's a nice, easy way to display lots of text. If you're doing a lot of NLP, natural language processing, maybe a lot of text you want to show, that's a good example. Or things like this when you have reviews or survey responses coming in. It's a great way to enhance your Spotfire dashboard. Thank you for joining today's session. I hope this was useful for you. This is a great way to enhance your Spotfire dashboards. We're going to have lots more of these quick tips coming out, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and keep getting new video updates. Thanks, and we'll catch you next time.